Hey guys, this is Cat Freak 19067 and today I'm bringing you a tutorial of how to make falling objects in Cinema 4D. So first what you want to do is obviously go open Cinema 4D and do that. Hold on. And then you want to do that. Now, um, I already added a floor in. I already added a floor in. So, but what you want to do is when you want to go do that, you want to go over here to the light and go to floor. And then once you know that, there you have it. And then um, after that, you want to go over here to the emitter tool and hit emitter. And then you want to double click that and then scroll down here to the bottom and hit show objects. After that, you want to go back over to here. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry, you don't want to do that. You want to go over here to MoGraph and go to MoGraph uh, Cloner. Then put the cloner underneath the emitter. Hit the cloner and then go down here and change this to one, the count to one, which makes it one object instead of four. Because if it wasn't, it would look like that. So you want to change that to one. After that, you want to pick your shape and I'm going to pick a sphere because that's easy. You want to, I prefer 25 because that is a nice uh, sh size and reasonable size. So, okay. now you got 25 by 25 uh, sphere. Now what you want to do is you want to bring the sphere up, I mean the emitter above the sphere, and the sphere on the emitter, I mean the, the emitter on the cloner, and the sphere on the cloner. So, I have it like, like that. Sorry, hold on. Messed that all up. And bring the emitter up here, bring the cloner there, and the sphere there. So it should look like that, emitter, cloner, sphere. And now what you want to do is you want to highlight, oh, yeah, sorry, when, on the sphere, you want to make sure the radius is 12.5 and the segments are 24. If that, it'll mess it all up if you don't have it like that. So you want to highlight cloner and go over here to tags. And then you want to go to here, down here to dynamic body. Um... Now on later uh, Cinema 40, uh, like 11.5 and 10, um, this dynamic body is usually MoGraph tags. Um, but since I'm using 12.5, um, you're going to use dynamic body. So you want to click that. And then it's on the cloner. And now what you want to do is you want to control and click and bring it down to the floor. You know when you've done it right when uh, the white circle is not here. And then after that, you want to spin around and get what you you know get your where you want it and then you want to pull this up oh what, sorry wrong thing and bring the emitter up and pull that up because that's what is going to make the objects fall out so if we play the timeline the balls fall out and they don't go anywhere else so now what you want to do is you want to go down here to I mean up here to light and pick a light um, you want to pick the light up and mm, right above it, I guess. You could turn it if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it right there. And now uh, you can get uh, fancy. You go down here, you know, fix the color and everything. So go up here. We'll make it a red. So it's I like there. I like that red. So two. You want to memorize these numbers and go down here to luminance. And we want 235, 35, 0, 0, enter. And now you have that red. Now we want to go down here to reflection and change this to 235, 0, 0. And now we got the same color we had before. So now we want to change this to. 35% brightness. There you go. And you want to bring the texture to finessle. Give it a little shine there. And bring this down to about 30, 35% too. And sorry, change the brightness to 15. And now, yeah, and now you get that. And now, once you've done that, you want to change the blurriness to 10%. Enter, and 
and keep everything else the same. And you want to go down here, make sure that spe specular, reflection, luminance, and color are all checked off. Um, you can get fancy by putting glow on it, but I'm not going to do that. I'll do that in some later tutorial. So once it's done, you exit out of this and then drag this up to the sphere. And then you have that. So then now you see that the let's let's go into render view and see what it looks like. So now you have some shiny balls. And then after this, you want to go and add another floor to make it, you know, a little fancy. And go up here. Try to get as close to 90 as you can when you're putting this up. Here, that's close enough. And then you want to drag this over right about there. And you want to turn it and move it over. And probably about zoom it in. And a little up. Alright, so now that we have the light, you want to click that. And then go down here to shadow. And then you want to change it to shadow map soft. And if we go into render view, you can see now that we have shadows. So when the balls fall, there will be shadows. Um, but we're not just done yet. We're almost done. But now we want to change this to 200. So now we'll have more frames per second. So we have that now. And if we play it, there we go. And now we have that. So now when that's done, now we're ready to render it. So we go up here to render and go down to render settings. Go to general. Make sure that's full render. And go to output and then we're going to go to 1220 and 720. Okay, and after that you want to go down to here to current frame and change it to preview frame I mean preview range and make sure this is 0 to 200 frames if it's not then it won't start at the right time you want to go down here to save and name it so YouTube test and then you can change it to if I'm going to change this to a JPEG so I can make it as a background um, but you can change it into a, a, a QuickTime movie or AVI movie. Um, if I prefer a QuickTime movie because it works for me. Or you can change it into Photoshop if you want to work on it in Photoshop. But I'm going to change it to JPEG. And click Options. Make sure it's at 100% quality. And go over here to save it. So we're going to go to my Cinema 4D. And my folder. And oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Um, YouTube test. Save. Now let's see. Oh, hold on, let me see that one more time. That's YouTube test. Two, two, two at two. All right, there we go. Save it, and now we go and render it. All right, guys. So um, if this tutorial helped, uh, like it. Uh, I would like to try to get 50 likes. Um, if this, if you want more, subscribe for more. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.